Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about gestures. So, if you wonder how to use swiping inside Tasker, this is how you can do it. So, let's first see what we are creating today. Let's open Tasker, and I have here a task, just open the scene. When I click on that, you will see only show scene, and that's scene 1 as dialogue. So, let's play that. So you will see here scene 1, my title and an exit button. And I have here a background and also another rectangle. So what we are gonna do right now, follow my mouse. When I swipe to the left, something will happen. So when I click and swipe, you will see now scene 2 is loaded. When I swipe again, scene 1 is loaded. So this is how swiping works inside Tasker. So let's try to make that also. Let's close it. And I'm here inside my Tasker and you will see here one task for open scene 1. So when I go back, you will see here in my scenes, I have two scenes. Scene 1 is just that and scene 2 is like that it's the same as scene 1 but I only used as text scene 2 so you see here a rectangle I gave that rectangle a color but you can make it also transparent so creating a rectangle that's quite easy and let's open the options of the rectangle so you will see here the color, but when you click on the magnify glass, you can set also the transparency inside here. Okay. Let's close that. And then you have here a stroke. And the stroke, that will define the swiping gesture. So let's close that first. And let's open scene 1. So let's open the rectangle and let's open the stroke and you will see here direction is left and the length of the stroke is 100 so the first thing i'm doing is destroy scene 1 and i will show scene 2 as dialogue that's what we did in the example when i close that and go to scene 2 you will see the same thing is happening on the stroke option and you will see here instead of destroy scene 1 we use destroy scene 2 and show scene 1 as dialogue when we use the direction is left so I hope you understand how swiping works so let's open scene 1 again Let's open the rectangle and let's open the stroke. So for now you will see here two actions and then three, four, five, etc, etc. Those actions are now disabled. But I can enable that. So let's do that and let's disable action number one and two. And three, four, five and 6 enable like that okay you will see here flash direction is up if stroke direction is up you will see here direction is down if stroke direction is down etc etc same for left and also for right so for this example I'm gonna use the direction now not left but I'm gonna use any so when I use direction any could be up left right down and then it will check if stroke direction is up we are gonna flash direction is up if stroke direction is down we are gonna flash direction is down so let's test this let's go back 
and back and let's open our task right now and let's open open scene so show scene okay and now we're gonna test it when I swipe to left follow my mouse you will see direction is left when I swipe to right you will see direction is right when I swipe to up you will see direction is up and when I swipe down you will see direction is down so this is a simple example how swiping work you can use those swiping gestures wherever you like I hope you found this tutorial very handy and if you have any comments just leave them on my community and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up thank you see you later